Hey everyone, and welcome to yet another Roll20 tutorial. It's been a while since I've done one of these, because Roll20 really hasn't added anything that's worth covering so much. But I did get a question about how to make a token rollable for the players for loot. Well, it's quite simple. You actually just go over here to decks and tables. It's between the jukebox and the settings cog. And I made a rollable table. You just click add. Well, let's look at mine. This is for the dungeon loot beginning. So basically the beginning dungeon loot. I just worded it kind of silly. So these are my five items that I have. And what you would do is you just click add item until you have the amount that you want. Now, that's all well and good. And if you want them to be all equal in chances of popping up for the players, then don't do anything else other than add an icon. Actually, you don't even have to do that as long as you just name it. Because if you don't have an icon, a little thing will pop up saying scroll of sacred flame was the result. But anyways, if you want something to be more rare than let's say gold, there's this weight option right here. Basically what this is, is a percentage out of 100. And it's going to say that every 10 times out of 100, statistically, uh, the scroll of Sacred Flame will pop up. And this saying gold will pop up 25 times out of 100. My Potion of Healing will pop up at least half of the time. And scroll of hidden word is 10 times out of 100. You can think of that in different ways if you want. I just prefer to think of it out of 100. And it actually just gives you this little um, dialogue here. That's a percentage, basically. So 10% of the time, that's going to pop up. 25% of the time, this is going to pop up. 50%. So the percentages are slightly skewed because everything doesn't equal up to 100. But you get the gist of it. Okay, so now that you've probably created your table, there's one important detail you want to click, and it's this players can roll from table right under the name. So then you want to save changes, and just close out all these little guys. Then click the token action. And what that does, it will bring up a little token for you to roll, and players to roll. You can just leave it off to the side here. And then you can be like, okay, players, you just defeated so-and-so. Now please click and roll on the loot, each one of you. And so each one can go over here, multi-sided, and click random side. Rolling token. It shows me I've got a greater potion of healing. And then the next guy can go right-click on it, multi-click, random side, gold. He got some gold. Good for him. This guy got a fire scroll or something like that. Well, now that I've rolled a few times, you can see the results. Now, gold's shown up twice. The healing potions have shown up twice. The, but the scrolls and the greater healing potions have shown up a lot more. So if we were to have a table with ten items instead of just five, then perhaps we could have more variety or more consistency with the rolls. All right, everyone, that wraps up this tutorial on rollable tables. Hope that answered any questions that you may have had, or if you didn't know, even know what a rollable table was, you now know and you can incorporate it into your sessions. All right, everyone, take care, and please let me know if you want me to do any more tutorials on Roll20. It's been a while, and some of them are a little bit outdated, so just leave a comment below. Take care, everyone.